This is my third paragraph for the retelling of the story of El Caminante. I'm going to first start off by rereading um, the last couple of sentences from my second paragraph just to get me in the flow. Um, and I've got my um, story map here. The, this is the section I'm going to be focusing on today um, in the third and fourth paragraphs. So we've got here, the people of the town hung colourful bunting and laid out wooden tables and chairs whilst children splashed joyfully in the fountain. The legend of El Caminante was well known and his daredevil performances drew great crowds. As a result, the town's air crackled and popped with excitement. So, now I'm going to introduce how the El Caminante, uh, how El Caminante arrived. I've um, re-watched the video just to refresh my memory and he actually arrives with his long hair sort of fluttering in the breeze and he comes in underneath one of the arches. So, I'm going to start off with, with his long The warm, it's, it's the afternoon, he's arrived in the afternoon of his performance, probably early afternoon, afternoon breeze. El Caminante. I haven't actually said in here that he's a typewriter wall because I'm going to just put that extra information in in a bit of parenthesis. The great typewriter walker. With his long hair and extravagant cloak fluttering in the warm afternoon breeze, El Caminante, the great type rope walker, arrived. <clears throat> I'm going to now say how he, where he came in through. So he came in through though uh, underneath some arches. So instead of just saying he came in or he walked in, he strode. Or could we gracefully? Oh, I like that. He gracefully. Gracefully strode in beneath. Nice preposition there. Beneath one of the towns. Um, I think I'm going ancient. Yeah, ancient arches. gracefully strode in beneath one of the town's ancient arches and he introduces himself to a group of children so and introduced himself to a group of children he bows to them sinking down into a gracious deep bow. It's not just any bow, this is El Caminante bowing. So he gracefully strode in beneath one of the town's ancient arches and introduced himself to a group of children by sinking down into a gracious deep bow. I like that. So I'm gonna we've had a couple of long sentences, so I'm just gonna vary this up. He was elegant and handsome. Full stop. Charming. Noble. 
short sentences brings the reader's attention to the adjectives that I've chosen here. Um, and this really, introducing that engaging character, got some repetition for effect because we've also got two short sentences, one after the other, and their structure's very similar with the two um, adjectives. So he, oh, he elegant, he was elegant and handsome, charming and noble. Um, the, I'm going to say, yeah, the children were mes, The children were captivated. captivated. The children were starstruck. Repetition, um, power of three. Let's reread that paragraph now. With his long hair and extravagant cloak fluttering in the warm afternoon breeze, El Camanante, the great tightrope walker, arrived. He gracefully strode in beneath one of the town's ancient arches and introduced himself to a group of children by sinking down into a gracious deep bow. He was elegant and handsome, charming and noble. The children were mesmerised, the children were captivated, the children were starstruck. I like it. That's uh, my third paragraph. It's uh, time for you to have a go at yours. Um, best of luck.